Amazon wannabe makeup. There you have it, it's in the title. It's basically makeup brands from Amazon that are creating really popular makeup products from popular makeup brands. Let's just jump right in. We have a foundation that looks almost identical to this very highly rated, very popular foundation from Estee Lauder, the Double Wear. This is the wannabe version from Amazon. This is the W7 Legend Lasting Wear Foundation. So let's just jump right in. Let's put them one to one and see what we get. And we're going to apply with a wannabe makeup brush. Does this look familiar? They actually spelled the correct name, Bobbi Brown and Bobbi Brown. Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation is 48 US dollars. It's a full coverage. It has a natural matte finish and it wears really well all day long. The wannabe makeup, the W7 Legend Foundation, comes at a price of $6.95. It has a medium buildable coverage. It's supposed to have a dewy matte finish. And it's also supposed to be a very long lasting foundation. Go with the real Bobbi Brown on the original real side it's a very easy foundation in terms of application blendability how it builds you can use it with pretty much any kind of tool you can use your fingers a brush or a sponge my favorite method is the brush just because you have a little more control and it is such a full coverage foundation that it does provide a beautiful finish and you need a little bit to give you that full coverage let's go with the wannabe bobby brown brush on this side and i did clean it with my It Cosmetics, the brush bath. It still has that smell, but it's better. But it, it's really soft. I'm not, I'm not gonna bash anything because this is soft. Um, that blended in really nice. Look at that. And it's been sitting on my skin for at least a couple of minutes. The W7 foundation. I'm actually impressed with how both sides look so similar. If anything, the Bobbi Brown brush the original has a little more density, so it doesn't really soak up as much foundation. You can even see. Next wannabe makeup is the Fenty Beauty, the Match Sticks. And then this is on Amazon. It comes in a kit, but I'm only going to use the contour slash bronzer shade. This is by the brand Lifus Beauty. And this is their Shimmer Skin Stick Match Sticks. They also spelled sticks like... Fenty Beauty. Packaging also very similar. It's a little smaller. It's um, shiny in comparison to Fenty Beauty, but let's go for it. So Fenty Beauty, Amber, and then this is the Makeup Dupe. It's also on the cooler side, but it has a little bit more red versus the Fenty Beauty is like a true cool toned, very beautiful contour shade for my light skin tone. So price difference, Fenty Beauty, $32, you get 0.25 ounces. And then the Lifus Beauty, it comes in a pack of four. So you get two highlighters and two bronzer slash contour shades. And this is $9.99. <laughs> and this is also 0.25 grams. I have another brush that is maybe a dupe for one of my favorites, the It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe, the Complexion Perfection Number no. 7 brush. I like this one for honestly pretty much my entire face. And then we have this one from Amazon Da Bigni. Makeup brush, ideal for foundation powder and mineral foundations, but it looks almost identical <laughs> to It Cosmetics. It's bigger, it's longer. <laughs> you can see where they got their inspiration from. <laughs> so this brush is very dense. Pretty shedding. But this dupe matchstick, this wannabe makeup from Amazon, it's actually blending in really good. Definitely has a glowy finish like it's not matte like the fenty beauty matchstick and again the side's a little bit more pigmented just because it's a deeper shade on me but it's blending out really good honestly this side looks really good look at that for concealer i used natasha denona high glam concealer can't stop and then mascara the bambi l'oreal waterproof mascara so moving on to blush Rare Beauty. This is one of the most popular liquid blushes on the market due to its, first of all, packaging. It's the most beautiful, chic, elegant packaging. It's again, Selena Gomez's, Selena Gomez's makeup line, Rare Beauty, and also the formula. It's one of the most pigmented liquid blushes on the market. We might have a possible dupe, but this is the wannabe version from Amazon. They also have the exact names, which, 
is fascinating. Rare Beauty by Selena Gomez in shade Happy. And then we have Lake Rain Beauty also in Happy. Almost identical packaging. Has a doe foot applicator, but it's smaller. All right, let's swatch Rare Beauty. And then we have Lake Rain Beauty. Very similar. If anything, the Lake Rain Beauty has a little bit more coral versus Rare Beauty. It's a little more cool toned. Let's see, we also have another shade in Bliss, Rare Beauty. And then this is Lakeside or Lake Rain. I'm so sorry, Lake Rain. And then Rare Beauty. Rare Beauty, it's a little deeper. It's a little warmer. And Lake Rain, it's a little lighter and cooler. But again, very similar. We're gonna start with Rare Beauty. I was going to use her Rare Beauty blush brush, but you know what? I'm going to use this brush as well by it Cosmetics. I cleaned it, again, using the brush bath, 60 seconds. And personally, I don't like to wait with this blush. Just go in right away and blend it out. I would say this blush, it's a little finicky. With application, you really have to play with the amount that you apply because you can get heavy-handed, very clownish type of a look really fast. So you just need one dot and then just add more if you need to. But I also like to apply it to the back of my hand, really warm it up and then work it into my blush brush that I will be using and then go in and apply it to my cheeks. Even that looks really good already. Very soft, still see the color, but it's not intense. So let's go with the Lake Rain Beauty. I'm going to assume it's also pigmented. So we'll do one dot. This side. And it's not as pigmented. I was giving it the benefit of a doubt, you know? We need a little bit more. It's not blending as well as Rare Beauty. I'd say this one I would probably apply to the back of my hand instead of going straight to my face. That's actually a really pretty color. Similar. You never know how they're gonna translate, you know? The blendability on Rare Beauty, it's really nice. Again, if you kind of work it into your skin right away. This side also, it's actually pretty good. It's a little of a drier formula, the way it blends. It has more of a matte finish versus this one, it's dewy finish. So the Lake Rain Beauty, it is $6.99 versus Rare Beauty, $23. And they're both the same amount, 0.25. 0.25. I set my face a little bit using the Uomo Beauty Hydro Blast in Fair Lady, no, White Pearl, sorry, White Pearl. Just right here in the T-zone and a little bit under my eyes and just right here. But I have to just because it's a hot day today and I'm just gonna be very glowy on top of glowy. The rest of my face, it's the way it is. I didn't set it on my cheeks, I didn't set it on my jaw. I'm excited with the way my face is looking. All right, we do have one last product. The Viral, the coveted, the Dior Lip oil. This is everywhere. Personally, I think it's good, but I'm not the biggest fan of this lip oil. It's too expensive and it's a lip oil. <laughs> but this right here is in shade pink 01 and I also picked up this one. Is this a dupe? But this is definitely a wannabe makeup from the brand IB CCCNDC lip glow oil also in shade 001 pink. Let's check it out. Similar packaging except you're missing the little this little knob at the very top with Dior logo, but otherwise it's pretty much identical. The color is a little bit off, I would say, on the dupe side for the lip oil. It's a little more coral versus the Dior. It's a little more cool toned, cool toned pink. Okay, just check out the Dior lip oil and it's very easy to take out. Has a nice little suction, but it comes out really nice and comfortable. I'm trying to take out the dupe Dior lip oil and Ooh, had to pop it out of there, force it out of there. Applicators are similar enough as the Dofo applicator. The Dior lip oil, it's a little bit bigger. It's pink versus the dupe, the wannabe. It's beige with a little bit of that color. Ooh, it has a chocolate mint scent. So very different, different scents. Shove it back in there. And then this is the Dior. The Dior has that uh, cherry vanilla scent. The Dior is thick, but it's not as thick. I, I don't really see a color difference, to be honest with you. Let's put them on and see how they feel on the lips. And this retails for 40 US dollars versus the dupe slash wannabe. This retails for $8.91. I will say the wannabe feels a little thicker on the lips, but 
very similar. It's kind of blowing my mind. And I feel a little bit of the tingling sensation due to the mint in here and the dupe on the makeup wannabe side. The Dior has a little bit more of a slide feel, slide texture. I can move my lips a little easier and a little more comfortable. But there we have it. This is the full face. We're going to do a full day of wear tests, see how everything looks, see how everything feels. But so far, I think we're looking great one-to-one. -one. The original side versus the dupe makeup wannabe side from Amazon. This is what we're looking like three hours later. On this side, just trying to see. I think the pores actually look pretty good. It's a little glowy around the nose. Definitely glowier on the dupe makeup wannabe side just because the foundation was a lot more dewy to begin with. Blush is still there on both sides. I will say the only thing I'm feeling the difference is the lip oil. The Dior lip glow oil, it's not as sticky as the wannabe dupe side. I hope you guys can hear me in the back since these two babies in the background. We'll see you guys probably after dinner. Oh, I did want to mention I ate borscht at my in-laws house. If you don't know, it's like a Ukrainian soup. And then I was drinking my water from my Stanley and I feel like there's still a little bit more left with the dupe side, but my lips look a little more, have more color with the Dior side, which is very fascinating. All right, <laughs> let's get these kids inside. And yeah, you guys ready to go inside? Yeah. Let's go. And at dinner, I made Greek style chicken with the rice and cucumbers, slathered in sour cream, salt and pepper. It was mwah, chef's kiss, so good. But speaking on the makeup, this is what we're looking like. I retouched up uh, once with the powder, the Uoma Beauty, but that's it. Blush still going strong on both sides. Uh, foundation doing its thing i'm looking really nice and dewy fresh but i want to mention one thing with the lip oils you know how sometimes like lipstick bleeds and whatnot i find that a lot with lip oils they bleed around my lips and just kind of go around like crevice like around this little area and just looks like i have really oily lips so that's why I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of lip oils i tend to not wear them as much but i found that the dupe or the wannabe Dior lip glow oil, it was kind of running down far, like past my lip line in comparison to the original Dior. I feel like it, my lips feel better on the Dior side in comparison to the Amazon one, but I'm gonna reapply. Actually, you know what? Let me do that right now. Clean up, Dad. <laughs> Clean up, Daddy. Okay, there we go. Reapplied. You look nice and plump. All right, I'll see you guys at the very end of the night before bed. I am ready for bed. Kids are both asleep and I am winding down and I want to do the last check-in, last update, see what we're looking like. I feel like you can still see a little bit of a glow from the lip oil on the left side. That's the Dior versus the right side. It's kind of gone. The wannabe makeup foundation that's somewhat of a dupe for the Estee Lauder. It does not compare to longevity. You can see it's patchy right here. It's like a lot of it is gone around the nose, even on the forehead. I'm looking and like the foundation is gone. I'm also seeing that the bronzer is kind of gone too. It's not really there anymore, even on the forehead. I feel like the Fenty Beauty was always a little more subtle to begin with, but I feel like I still see a little more definition on the Fenty side versus the dupe wannabe side. Now speaking of blush, still very visible on both sides. In my opinion, the Rare Beauty was a lot easier to work with. I do enjoy Rare Beauty, her dewy version. I think they're really beautiful for the summertime, honestly, all year round. Those brushes, uh, I think, are good to try. I still prefer the Bobbi Brown brush. It does, doesn't absorb as much makeup. It's softer. The it Cosmetics brush also, it's softer. It's not as stiff. It's not as dense. So I think it's really good to get that really soft, diffused look with any type of product that you use. But just overall, it's very interesting to see that brands or just manufacturers, let's just say manufacturers, they are bringing these products to Amazon, to the internet and are marketing them kind of like dupes for these really popular makeup brands or popular makeup products that are going viral and they're, you know, I don't know, just trying to like money grab in a way. 
I'd rather find a product from the drugstore or even Sephora and Ulta at a more affordable price that has <laughs> a name behind them, has something behind that brand, not just some random manufacturer online that is trying to make a quick buck off of these viral or really high selling highly rated makeup products and you're not really sure what goes on with these makeup products and these brands so i'm gonna end it here thank you for watching spending time with me and i'll see the next one very soon